Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. I got this for Anna's birthday after she mentioned wanting to travel more. Taking this photo, God, seeing it like this, is not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Not your standard thief, too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Come on, work, you piece of chunk! I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. 
Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Sam. Sam. Who was that? Sam. Are you okay? Uh, I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to?
I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time and then she's too out of it and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on, but he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial, she's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me, no one cares. I care. I believe you and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. Anyway, it's not like I expected any different. This place is full of gutless, patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In 10 years? Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town? You don't have to. But leaving like this? Running away? That's not going to help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth, for once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. 
Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. I'll call your mother. What? Don't! I'll call her right now. Don't! You can't just run away. Fine! I'll go home! Don't call her! It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever! You're just like everyone else! Ooh, harsh. But fair. Sorry, Bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Joan always liked bugs. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. But she still has a long way to go. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bugs' reach. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. This is either new or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot.
Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him, grew up with them. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. All right. 
I think I went through everything here. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. <sighs> Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. No, that wasn't it. Only a few more hundred combinations to go. Well, I doubt I'm just gonna guess it. Bug never was the social type, just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend.
Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. 
They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you've- That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. That's enough! What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. And then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. That's not fair. Shut up! Sam! I... sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't... don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? We're look- Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really? Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. <laughs>